All right, let's watch this right here. <clears throat> There's a lot of good talking going on on defense. Uh, Nate's on 13. There's a screen coming up, screen left. I want you to watch this. Nate gets screened. Now Nate and PJ need to communicate and make sure it's clear, is there a switch happening or is there not a switch happening? But because they don't communicate, a player ends up wide open. So I'm not sure, I can't quite hear if there was a switch called or not, but you guys need to be loud with your switch calls. Uh, in this case, Nate does not switch and PJ does switch. So they both stay with the ball carrier. Here you can see Nate and PJ now are both guarding the same guy. And number four is super wide open, which they don't actually give him the ball, but he does get the rebound. Look at that. Look how open this guy is. That should never happen. And free rebound and easy putback. So make sure you guys communicate on those screens and you either stick with your man or you switch. Now I want to talk about the, the uh, press break a little bit right here. Um, <clears throat> one thing I think you guys don't utilize enough is the long ball pass. So the other team doesn't respect the over, top, over the top at all. So they crowd the backcourt more than they should be allowed to. So in this case, for example, just occasionally I would like to see either PJ take off or for PJ to come set a, a, a back screen on this player and have Kai or Trevor, one of these guys, take off and go long. And Miles, he can run the whole inline member after a made basket. So Miles, again, I'd like to see you get away from the key, away from the basket, maybe run over here a little bit, give yourself some space away from the backboard, and then look to throw over the top. <clears throat> I know you guys are only looking for this short pass here, but if you can beat the press in one pass, it's always better than four passes, right? So one of these guys needs to be threatening to go deep. And Miles, you need to at least make the defense respect you and threaten that over the top. Look, you see this guy? He's just jogging around. He has no worry about the over the top. PJ's not threatening the over the top. Nobody's threatening the over the top pass. You guys are making the press break harder by making lots of short passes when potentially you could make one pass to beat the whole press. All right, so we know this double team is coming. All right, we've got to move the ball before the double team gets set up. So Kai sees this pressure coming. He needs to pivot away from the pressure into this space, make one or two dribbles quickly, and then pass it right back to a cutting miles up the middle or just go over the top to PJ or Nate, who is going deep, all right? It's gotta be quick though. You cannot hold the ball for more than one or two seconds when the double team is coming. See, Kai holds it and he turns into the pressure because in his mind, the play is always the same. It's, it's premeditated. It's catch the ball and throw it into the middle this way. Well, the trap is not allowing you to do that. The trap is saying, turn away from pressure and come this way. If Kai pivots the opposite direction, there's all this space over here. He can dribble a couple times, and then Miles will be open in the middle of the court, or Nate will be open deep. Okay. <clears throat> I don't mind this pass back because he sees the double team coming, but again, if possible, Trevor has a little bit of space. He can always go over the top. So I don't like this, Miles. <clears throat> you got guys all around you. You need to catch the ball. If there's people all around you, just get your elbows out and pivot and find a, find a pass that's away from the pressure. All right, don't try and put the ball on the floor when you got guys all around you. Look, at there's a guy right here. You know there's pressure coming up from behind. This needs to be a quick pass. Don't put your head down and dribble. This you got PJ wide open over here calling for the ball. It's got to be a catch, catch. Look, at you have four Dublin players all in the backcourt, all within five to 10 feet of the ball handler. That means that there's gonna be people wide open. Players cannot run as fast as the ball can be passed. So the easiest way to beat the press, guys, is to pass the ball quickly, not to dribble the ball. If we make a pass, 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 we should get a layup every time. You guys should love the full court press because it leads to easy layups, all right? It's the easiest way to get a layup in basketball is beat the full court press, you can see down here, we already have a two on one. All right, pass, 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 layup. Don't dribble in this situation.